It is a statistic that will shock you, and Wisconsin holds the title. More women in the state, especially in the southeast corner, drink and smoke while pregnant than any other state. The consequences can be deadly, but one program is doing all it can to give these mothers and their babies a clean first breath. NBC 15's Carleen Wild has our story. <laughs> Little Lily has just turned four months old. Her mother and father are enjoying a baby girl who does a lot of smiling, cooing, and sleeping through a good portion of the night. But the day she came into this world, Sophie and Steve weren't so sure about her future. When she was born, you know, we had a very horrible labor and delivery. And right afterwards, she stopped breathing. and. From there, the doctors told us that she had a lot of problems. Eventually, she was going to have cerebral palsy. All the tubes that they had coming out of her, feeding tubes, and it broke my heart, you know, and I felt like it was completely my fault. Sophie decided that day it was time to quit smoking, an addiction she has had since she was 13. And she turned to a unique program that is helping mothers like her in Wisconsin for help. Over 11,000 women have been touched by the program, and we have an annual qu quit rate of about 35 percent. So it's almost 4,000 women that have quit smoking. Sophie was among the moms providing insight at a recent conference of first breath care providers. The program, a first of its kind in the nation, began here about 10 years ago. Counseling, support, and treatment options for pregnant women who either smoke or need to stop drinking are offered to women who are willing and ready to accept it, all on behalf of their unborn child. If a mom is smoking while she is pregnant, her baby is up to two and a half times more likely to die of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome, in their first year of life than a woman that has not used tobacco. And I think that's one of the hugest things, it's just startling, that infant mortality is something that is real. While each of these women has successfully stopped smoking, any of these moms will tell you their biggest challenge is the one to come, and that is staying quit especially because many of them are surrounded by family and friends that still do. Sophie's advice to other moms, don't put yourself or your baby through this. Just looking at her makes me not want to smoke. Knowing what it has done to my daughter, I wouldn't want that for any baby. I wouldn't want her to ever be hurt because of something that I did. And I think, you know, once you understand that and you have the dedication, you can do it. The Wisconsin Women's Health Foundation will be starting a new quit smoking project later this year with financial incentives for pregnant women who want to quit smoking. Enrollment for that project hasn't started yet, but First Breath is available to help today. If you'd like more information, we have posted a link to the program under news links at NBC15.com.